Hi, I'm thrilled to announce that we are almost at 20,000 followers for our YouTube channel. And so to help celebrate that and kind of kick us over the top, I wanted to have a giveaway. Um, so what you need to do is like, subscribe, and comment on our channel by February 29th. And we're gonna have a giveaway with some pretty awesome prizes. Uh, this next giveaway is gonna be a $100 Amazon gift card. And uh, the cool thing is all we need is your email address. So all you people in the UK, Canada, India, Australia, South Africa, wherever you are, please like, comment, subscribe. Uh, let us know how we're doing. Get us over that 20,000 follower mark. Do it by February 29th. We'll announce the winner in March of that $100 Amazon gift card and we will send it right over. Hi, I'm Dr. Brett Langston. I'm a prosthodontist. I'm the owner of Dental Implant and Aesthetic Specialist here in Brookhaven, Georgia. And I'm here to help you watch your mouth. Today we're here to talk about gum disease. You might be wondering, can it be cured? Well, I'm here to tell you that it can, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to do that. So gum disease is the common term for gingivitis or periodontal disease. So gingivitis is just simply the inflammation of the gum tissue, and that's a result of plaque and bacteria accumulating on the tooth surface. So gingivitis is caused by the gum tissue being swollen and irritated because there's plaque attached to the tooth surface. And plaque is just basically the gunk that the mouth makes that builds up. It's, it's an acidic material that will attack tooth structure. And it's basically a substrate of the food you eat combined with the bacteria in your mouth. They get together and they make this kind of a sticky film that sticks to the teeth. If you've ever gone a couple days without brushing your teeth, while well, that's really gross, that kind of gross film on your teeth, that's the start of plaque. And the problem is if you don't remove that, the tissue gets really angry. And on top of that, the saliva in your mouth has a high concentration of calcium and other particles uh, that when combined with the plaque, if they don't get cleaned off, can attach the tooth and form what's called calculus. And so calculus is basically, a, also called tartar sometimes, is a, is a hard crystalline structure that's attached to the teeth. And the problem is your body doesn't like that. And so if you've got that hard crystalline structure attached to the teeth below the gum line, your body doesn't know how to get rid of it. So what it does is it actually causes the bone and the tissue to drop down to give you access to clean that. But the problem is it's a never ending cycle. If you leave that calculus attached to the teeth, that bone and that tissue is gonna keep dropping and dropping to the point where eventually the tooth gets loose. If the tooth gets loose enough and you lose enough bone, you can lose the tooth. Um, whether that means coming to see us so we can take it out in a nice controlled manner or you're out to eat dinner with your friends and all of a sudden you've got a tooth in your hand. Either way, this is something that can be prevented by proper home care, staying on top of your home care regimen, good job brushing, good job flossing, mouth rinses. These are all things that will remove that plaque layer and help remove that calculus. It's also important to see your dental, your dental team on a regular basis. Getting in to see us every six months allows us to reach those areas where you can't quite see. And also it's a good time for your hygienist to say, hey, this is the spot you're missing. Your home care is really good everywhere else. Make sure you take care of this because we're seeing a buildup of plaque or calculus. Periodontists like my wife absolutely love getting in there and removing that calculus because when you free that tissue, the body does a really good job of reattaching the tissue and protecting everything again. So when you hear calculus, don't be scared. We're not going back to high school math. Calculus is just the formation of a hard crystalline structure onto the tooth surface. I'm Dr. Brett Langston, and I'm here to help you watch your mouth. So if you thought calculus was hard in high school, imagine it in your mouth. Is that, that, was, that was weird. That's, that's too weird. Imagine it in your mouth hole. Well, maybe they will. There you go. I like it. Courtesy of Mike D. Joke, courtesy of Mike D. <laughs>